Hey all, uh, we'll see how to take a heap and a thread dump uh, in this class and we'll see how to analyze them. And heap and a thread dump are used to troubleshoot applications in a situation like uh, when application gets hung or application becomes slow or application gets stopped. So you can, you can take a heap dump uh, through a web console and you can navigate through troubleshooting uh, Java dumps and cores and you can select the required server and click on heap dump. So heap dump is uh, successfully uh, completed. Let us see the file. Uh, By default, uh, these heap dumps and thread dumps uh, will come to the profile root. So this is the latest. Yep, this is the latest file which uh, I have took just now. The date stamp sixteen ten and it is sixteen ten. Uh, let us. Uh, the, the thread dump is also called as a Java core in WebSphere. So let us take thread dump as well. Selected the appropriate. Selected the appropriate server and clicked on Java core. And yes, a Java core uh, dump is successfully completed. By default, uh, it will come to profile root. Yeah, this is the latest file which I took just now. So let us see how to analyze uh, them. There are uh, many applications uh, in the market uh, to analyze. Uh, these uh, dumps. IBM uh, is also providing tools uh, to analyze them. I'm having a few tools uh, through which we can analyze. Uh, let us open them and analyze um, the dumps. Let us open this. This is the tool provided by IBM for a thread dump. So let us open the dump file. It is taking by default uh, the profile root. Let us open this. Let us open this. Now let us uh, analyze uh, the dump. I have uh, made a few points uh, which we can uh, open and uh, analyze it. So let us uh, see thread status analyze first. So see this is how uh, you can uh, view the status uh, of the application status. It's like right now it do not have any uh, deadlocks. So deadlocks means <coughs> when any couple of process gets conflict and it uh, if, if it gets conflict uh, when two process try to do the same thing on this maybe on the same record in a database uh, in such situations the uh, this uh, it gets locked and uh, it will not go further. <coughs> so when any two processes try to tries to do the same operation uh, deadlocks will happen so in such situations uh, you know you can kill the process or else uh, you can uh, troubleshoot why deadlocks are happening and uh, you can resolve the issue and uh, so in such cases uh, there will be deadlocks and the next if you can see if there is a waiting a situation like uh, Maybe uh, execution of certain scripts is taking long time or execution of certain uh, operation takes long time. Uh, in such case, if it is the wait time is more, then you know the application may get hung. In such situations, you can optimize the code uh, to avoid such situation. So you can uh, see the report and uh, analyze and troubleshoot the issue. Let us uh, view a few more options. Uh, so like memory segment analysis. It is showing uh, the memory uh, 
to for the execution of certain classes you can check memory or uh, usage as well next environment variables it is just about the installation paths of your uh, environment maybe java home or profile root all those things you can check uh, the installation paths using this uh, environment variables and uh, shared class cache this is about the existing classes uh, in this uh, environment native memory analysis it's saying about the memory occupied by the JRE memory usage of a JRE method analysis it is uh, giving by report uh, about the Java code Again, here also it is showing uh, the status for deadlocks and then waiting condition. So you can check this report and uh, take the appropriate action to troubleshoot. And then thread detail. Uh, it is showing about uh, various codes uh, in the in the application. So like this, you can view the reports and uh, troubleshoot uh, troubleshoot the environment. Uh, this is about analyzing a thread dump. A thread dump is also called as Java Core uh, in uh, WebSphere. Uh, and now let us see uh, about a heap dump. Uh, so we have we took the heap dump earlier. Uh, let us open it and analyze. So there will be different software for uh, thread dump uh, thread dump analysis and heap dump analysis. For thread dump analysis, as you can download IBM thread and monitor dump analyzer for Java. Uh, it, it would be uh, it, it is available in IBM website. And uh, for to analyze uh, heap dump, let us open the software. So I have a heap analyzer. Uh, let us open it. This is also uh, provided by uh, IBM. You can search by IBM heap analyzer to download from the IBM website. So now let us uh, open uh, the heap dump we are having. So let us open this. Okay, and the heap dump it is generally used uh, to observe. The memory usage of the application uh, if application requires more memory of or any particular processes using more memory you may have to try to optimize the code and uh, the application first and if it is uh, not possible and uh, the application really needs uh, more memory then as i showed earlier you can increase heap uh, heap, heap size initial heap size and maximum heap size uh, from the web sphere as per uh, your requirement so uh, through this uh, you can um, optimize uh, about memory usage uh, for the application uh, you can uh, identify how uh, like you know how much uh, memory uh, would be required for application or if any code uh, is uh, not working properly or any code is taking more memory you can optimize the code for uh, I mean uh, you can optimize code uh, so that uh, you can use the minimum uh, memory uh, for the application because uh, memory it would be costly uh, it would be cost uh, to the company so you would try to uh, run the application with the minimum usage of the memory uh, to run the application so yep, uh, so you can leak size uh, as of now this application is not working uh, on, in the production so that why that's why we did not get many rows uh, but if application is in production you would get uh, many uh, rows and you would get the leak size so you can uh, sort it uh, and you can check uh, which code is uh, using the more memory and uh, if 
possible you can uh, optimize the code or else uh, if you if you cannot optimize uh, an application requires more memory you, you can increase initial heap size or maximum heap size uh, so that application runs properly and uh, you, you could get leaks as suspect as well as of now there is only one process but uh, in the production you may get many processes and based on the leak size and you know um, and you, based on the leak size you can try to optimize the code or else uh, you can increase uh, memory and, uh, yep uh, so this is how uh, you can uh, analyze <coughs> heap and thread dumps uh, in uh, web sphere and uh, apart from uh, taking uh, Heap dump and thread dumps through GUI. Uh, you can uh, take using commands like uh, jmap and jstack as well. Um, I'm, I'm done with the class. And uh, if you uh, want to learn a web sphere application server administration course, uh, you can uh, check the playlist available in my channel and uh, you can subscribe to my channel so that uh, you can get more videos in your future. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.